Pressure comes from uh, what we're trying to achieve for the title. We're trying to make, make a real sort of benchmark uh, Vita game, a game that really shows the, the technical and the processing power of the, mm -hmm. of the Vita. And because it has also such a beautiful screen, we really want to push the visuals and make it look really pretty as well. We spent about 10 months just getting the engine running and then we didn't even have a game yet. So then we had, had to start making the game itself. So there's a lot of effort already being put into getting it running. We finally have two sticks, we could make a, an FPS, so that has been the core focus. But of course, uh, there are some interesting things you can do with touch as well. For example, the Brutal Melee, that's one of the um, systems where we let the player sort of participate in a physical way with the action where you can use the touch screen to uh, perform a melee kill. The game is also slowed down, so it isn't a problem to release the sticks and switch to the touch and then go back. Because what we wanted to prevent is that players have to constantly switch with their grip on the, on the, on the controller, of on the, on the Vita. In the story, we have some interesting twists as well. And at some point, the player will, the player character will have a moment where he pauses and thinks like, okay, is money really the only thing that I'm fighting for? There is more depth to it, it isn't as flat as you just kill for money and that's it. We always try to have a great shooter for the hardcore fans, for the hardcore FPS players. But we also try to broaden the market, our market a little bit and appeal to more players. And we are doing a lot of playtesting with uh, students and, and other people, young people that play, uh, play on handhelds. And what we're seeing is that we've made it quite an accessible game. We've lowered sort of the doorstep. It's very easy to sort of um, earn a little bit of money in the game and then buy whatever weapon you like. So from the very start, you can already buy the sniper rifle or a shotgun. Or, so you can completely customize how you like to play and then you can play it at your own pace. I think those kind of decisions really help to make it more appealing for a wider uh, audience. Cześć z tej strony Sox z PSX Extreme. Muszę przyznać, że jeżeli chodzi o handheldy, to na pewno będziemy mieli do czynienia z najlepszym FPS-em. Nie tylko na Vita, tylko chyba na platformy przenośne. To jest naprawdę prawdziwy, rasowy FPS spakowany do przenośnej konsoli. I naprawdę w naszej kieszeni będziemy mieli grę, która przypomina FPS-y klasyczne, takie znane z dużych konsol, zarówno pod względem oprawy graficznej, która po prostu jest fenomenalna, gdyż udało się chyba w zasadzie cały silnik skizona trójki przenieść na PS Vita i pod względem gameplayu, gdyż jest to taki rasowy shooter z kampanią, z multiplayerem. Hi, my name is Matthijs Jong. I'm game director at uh, Guerrilla Games. I wish you uh, a lot of fun with uh, Kills of Mercenary when it comes out in September of this year. Thank you.